right now to hit that one ball square to take the scratch out of the question. Oh he has he's hit it square. Boy that was a clutch break if I ever saw one. And I think he's got something on the two. He does indeed. Bit of a thin cut on this two ball. The legendary Johnny Archer break delivers. At the most crucial juncture of this match. Two balls already off the table only seven left. If he gets good position on the three he can cruise through this rack. First. Make the two ball. So what's he going to do with the white off the two is he just going to do it side cushion side cushion back yeah. to. Yeah nothing for, fancy yeah. here. For just just avoid the seven ball. For position onto the three into the left side I would think. Yes. Well now he'll take it into the corner. Boy he really landed 50 yard line here didn't he Jerry. He really did. But. The corner pockets have been friendly. And position on the. Five ball. Fairly easy to reach from here. A little bit of a drag shot. Put him in good stead for that five ball. This is when focus can be hard to find. When every shot is this critical. He just showed you the line he'd like to be on for the next shot. And he pointed down table with his cue stick. Boy really confident pot there. And he got right where he wanted to be. He can't have any complaints about the way this rack is treating him. Boy he's plotted out every shot left on the table now. Knows exactly where he wants to move that cue ball. Johnny Archer taking the long route there. Well, that certainly shows a sureness of stroke to be able to unleash a power shot at this point in the match. Yeah, I don't think he really needed to, to do it, but I guess he just wants to to force all of that tension and all of that, you know. Those negative feelings out of his stroke. I guess it works for him. And he's left himself here with an easy shot here. Just hit this one with follow, and he should be in good position on this eight. The way he's marching around the table now, and the way he's attacking this table, Johnny feels this match should be his. How many thousands of times has he just run two racks and that's all that's left in front of him after he puts these two balls down. Ordinarily perhaps Johnny Archer would be done by now but. When the stakes are this high. He's certainly not going to leave anything to chance. Made his decision. And at the end of this rack, we will have eclipsed two and a half hours of time. It's become a marathon pool match here in Taipei. Very, very distressing situation for this fellow. Rack 20. Johnny Archer to break. Train nine racks to ten.
you know the break shot is such a crap shoot in the way that these balls fly around the table and anything can roll up and get in your way. This is a nervous moment. Boy, the tension is just thick in this room. He's still popping that rack. And he's nope. made a ball and he's going to have a shot on the one. No soft break today for Johnny Archer. Golly, he really popped that one. I, I, we're going to have to talk to Johnny after the match and find out what was going through his head. That's a, that's a big risk. Putting a little powder on the hand and kill the moisture. It's got to be there now. I mean, if you don't sweat under this condition, you're not human. Surprise, surprise. We actually saw a smile crease the face of Johnny Archer. Well, that you know, he knows he's at the table for free. He shouldn't be there. He knows he should have lost this match already. He's got everything to gain, nothing to lose. And this match now really grinding to a crawl here. One of the things I've noticed about Johnny over the years is if he gets a little bit nervous on, on these situations, he'll get down on a shot and then get back up and get down and get back up. But he won't commit to the shot until he is absolutely certain. The way he approaches a shot is a critical part of his aiming process. Boy, he wants that white to hurry. Well, oh, I don't think he's going to like this. Boy. I don't know, though. That's, uh, at first, I was thinking that side pocket was going to loom large for the cue ball if he decided to take the two into the corner. I think he will, but now I think if it, it will not. I believe he'll be safe. Well, I thought I thought I would think he probably wanted to take the two into the side, and he just ran short of pace. But now he's gonna. He has a very very ticklish cut on the two into the corner pocket. Well, he would still like to be able to take it into the side, but now the six ball would be in his way as he came around the table. However, I guess if he hits this one softly for the corner pocket, he'll probably miss that side. Well, the way he aimed that last one, it looks like he's going going for the side still. This looks like boy, it's hard to tell. I guess it is the corner. We'll see. Corner pocket. Oh, wow. What a critical shot from John Archer. Really seeing a champion at work here. Doing very well to avoid that scratch. Well, the big shot is this one on the three ball. He's got to get in line on that four. It's up against the rail, the right hand side of the table. You certainly don't want to play, be playing any bank shots at this point. Not when it would seem the rails are acting rather unpredictably. No one's gotten up and left this arena. Boy, oh boy. Archer, I guess he's going to have to take this. He was going to want to take this pink four into the upper corner pocket or. Well he was just looking. 
playing what we would have to call the short side. That's um, really dangerous with that eight over it there. Sure is. I, th I think you will see him bring the cue ball right back up to the end of the table over which he is now shooting. Watch outside pocket. Whoa. Guess you can understand now why Johnny took so long to take this shot because it was very delicate and he almost made a complete mess of things there, but he still left himself with a lot more angle than perhaps he would have wanted. Well, he's talking to the crowd. On one hand, he's got to be a little upset that the cue ball wound up where it did, but relieved that it didn't fall into that hole. Well, now with all of this angle off this four, you see, I presume he's going he's gonna to have to play back and forth. And that could bring that side pocket into play. If he was straighter, or the that would have been ball. a problem. Yeah, or the seven ball. He could run into that seven ball, and then, wow. Monkey wrench will have thoroughly been thrown into the machine if that were to occur. Yeah, you're going to see Johnny get up and down on these shots now. All so critical. This is the fourth time he's been to this shot. It's down, and he's clear of traffic. Work largely done. Now hopefully you'll speed up a little bit here because there aren't too many problems left on this table. Boy. We've come so far. To get to double hill. Archer now just the angle he wants off this eight. Works the cue ball right in line with the nine. So the tension has not taken his arm away. What a moment. It's so brutal here. I mean, just one game to decide who plays in the semifinals of the World Championship and who thinks about what might have been. Well, Jerry, and you know, talk about prize money. 10,000 for the losing quarterfinalist, 20,000 for the losing semifinalist. This is a $10,000 rack right here. Could be all down to this break shot. Could be and probably is. <laughs> oh, I can't that believe okay? that. I can't believe that. Somebody. Somebody made a noise just before Archer was about to break and. Control Alt Delete. He's got to set up all over again. Well, I'm glad he had the composure to stop. Would hate to see the outcome of this match determined by a reckless fan. Nothing's down. I can't believe this. I have. He's seen, come up dry. I haven't seen a dry break in about three days, Jerry, and we just saw one. What a time for the first dry break of this match. Out. Referee having to calm our audience. 
boy, and Chang Pei Wei must have legs that are resembling the consistency of Jello at the moment. And he's coming to the table with a cold arm. Yeah, and it's 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 a, obviously a makeable layout, but you know it's not not automatic. No, so it's not. Still gonna need some thought. Johnny can't believe that nothing went down on that break. Boy, and in, in, in hindsight, perhaps a medium speed break. In hindsight, of course, perhaps a medium or slow break would have gotten the job done better. But I don't know. Nine balls away from glory. Now eight. Two ball to fall in the corner. I believe both of the corner pockets also available to the three. Time to play some cons conservative nine ball. <coughs> this no doubt the longest match of the tournament thus far. 20 games played. Well, as I say sometimes, Jerry, sometimes you can cut the tension with a knife. Well, how about a chainsaw for this one, Jerry? Because this is just high drama. Chang fell excellently on the three. May. Only need to stop the cue ball here for the four. Oh, he's going to pull back and take it in the side. Boy, I wonder about that one. Oh, boy. Th does this four go into the lower right corner? If it doesn't, he is has given himself a lot more work than he would have wanted to. It doesn't look like he has a full pocket, if he has a pocket at all. But we've been fooled by these angles before. If he has to take it into the side, he really has a lot of work to do. Boy, and I guess you know he had to play a very controlled, delicate draw shot. I don't think I don't think he should have played the draw. Yeah. He should have just played the stop shot, taking that four ball down in the corner over which he now shoots, and he'd be in no trouble at all. Oh, that it's got to hurry. Well, it's fair position, and I guess you can say he's back in line. But boy, he really flirted with disaster there. Only five balls left, but he still got some work to do. He's got to move that cue ball around fairly nimbly off this five. Is he going to stun this with a bit of left English to go around, or can he just hit this with a follow and hold for position on the seven? On well, the six, rather. I would think he would use top right, but it looks like he's going to draw it. Take it off one rail. No, he did. He, oh, he finally did. came up. And oh, he hit that one good, Jerry. Oh, he did. He's on the correct line of the yeah. shot. To be able to take the six in the corner and just slide over to take the seven ball in the same corner. If he was short of pace, he would have been wrong sided and he would have had to use a rail to get back to position on the seven, but he's right sided here and he just has to play the sliding ball. Johnny Archer made a great comeback to pull even. And then had an unbelievable for him dry break shot that presented this opportunity brought Chang back to the table. You got to give him credit. He's certainly taken advantage of the opportunity. Boy but he's stretching out. This is not the time for a long bridge Jerry. Oh, slow down. The underdog. Set to topple the champion. Farcher goes, Jerry. He's in good company this week. Yeah, we've seen all the big names, or many of the big names, fall by the wayside. Boy, Such the way it is in professional pool now. There's so many people who play this game so great. He elects to draw. I thought he was going to run the angles. He's drawn out. 
He's in position, the fist is raised, and another Taiwanese player is going through. Listen to this.